Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Etho, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. And just fair warning, I'm going to tell you right away here, I just woke up. <laughs> so I might have a little bit of a morning voice, I'm not sure. But I, I gotta say it, because every time I record in the morning, there's always one person. I know some of you don't notice, but there's always one person, he's like... Is it just me, or does Etho sound weird this episode? He's, he sounds kind of depressed. I hope he's okay. Uh, it's morning voice. I'm congested. I can't help it. It goes away, though, over time. Aha. Uh -huh. So we are, uh, we're over here still building these island things. We're trying to make our Agricraft Island, guys. And it's going pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with this. Uh, basically, we, we build a bunch of rectangles using a filler here. Um, we we made the better vibrant capacitor bank so it can hold a lot of power. Oops. We have our storage cache here full of stone. Uh, I found the piping is actually just too slow to use with this, so I just put it in manually. It's been working out okay. And having vein miner with this really helps as well because I can just get rid of these cobble platform things I make really easily, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, what what we do here is we make a bunch of rectangles. We try to intersect them a little bit as well. You see how they're kind of all right next to each other. And we try to make them varying heights and 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 shapes. So when we're all done here, we're going to go go through here and blast it with our, our mana blaster. <laughs> Get rid of all the rough edges and hopefully it'll look pretty good. I tried to make this in such a way that... Uh, we have a lot of surface area, so I'm hoping we can put an agricraft farm over there. Maybe one over here. Maybe one on top of that thing. Um, gonna put one more rectangle in the back here, and I think we're done with this. Here's the problem with this island, though. I can't work on it during the nighttime because we get the blood moons, and we can't we can't sleep in the bed to skip the night during a blood moon. So we have to preoccupy ourselves with uh, something else here <laughs> till it's daytime again. Uh, we were kind of stuck on this wind wind turbine quest for quite a while. Maybe we'll we'll attempt this out. Uh, so we need a or here. Let's go back. Actually, we need a large wind turbine. Uh, so if we look at the recipe here, just press R. Uh, to do that, you need a medium. You need a small. And it, I worked it out. It's about 60 or no, 120 of these fabric things. If, if I counted right. So we need a bunch of silk mesh and industrial hemp fiber. So I've been 10-10-10-ing uh, ten, ten, our, our hemp seeds here. And by doing that, we also get hemp fiber. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do this. I think we're going to need about 60 silk meshes, maybe. And we should be able to do that. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, then we're going to make a bunch of those, a bunch of that fabric stuff, I guess. All right, and we'll we'll try put a windmill on this uh, this island. Oh, we did not get close to enough, did we? Or wait a minute, no, not we need double that at least. <laughs> we'll try put a, a windmill on the Agricraft Island. I think that would look cool. Ooh, I still don't think that's enough. Mm, need more hemp fiber. Well, let's check it out though. We'll try it. Oh no, we need the wait a minute treated wood. We need treated wood s sticks. Windmill, not meal, mill. <laughs> I gotta constantly remind myself. I always say it wrong. Just, just out of habit. I know it's wrong. I just, you know, there's some words you just, you just say wrong, even though you're no, you know, they're wrong. Okay. Oh. Okay. Medium. Oh, I messed up. I didn't put in my hot bar, right? Oh no, it did count it here though. I wonder why I didn't do it uh, with the capacitor banks last episode. Okay. Yeah, I guess you don't need to put in your hot bar. Okay, so we need copper wild coil. All right, get a few of those in there. And then we also need uh, machine housing. Yes, we have some brass in there. That's awesome. I wasn't sure about that. And then we go ahead and make it. Make it. Yes, we got it. <laughs> all right, so that's all four of those. Let's claim our reward. And we might put this on our Eggercraft Island, actually. It might look cool to have a windmill on there. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our, our bag here. Another jukebox. Getting a lot of jukeboxes. Okay. 
So I made a hang glider, finally. <laughs> it's a little weird, though. Like, normally if you hold shift with a hang glider, you go faster. But because we got the sneaking on air, if you hold shift, then you just kind of stop. Which is fine, I guess. It's it's an easy way to dismount from using it. <laughs> okay, so we got our rough island figured out here. We're going to start blasting it away with the mana blaster now. Got to try make all these corners and stuff go away. Um, one thing I've noticed is the mobs actually damage the island every night. Even if I'm not anywhere near it, they, they leave holes and stuff, so we're going to have to light this up pretty soon, too. But yeah, usually it's good to focus on all the corners and lines, and uh, hopefully this won't look too bad when we're all done. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some time here getting this done. Okay, so that turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. uh, it only took about 15 minutes to blast it. Oh, give me that back. <laughs> uh, and it took about maybe 30 minutes to do the, the rectangle part of it, so it's not too bad, actually. What are we trying to do here? We want a sloth. Got to get ourselves a, a sloth rune. We're not done with the island yet. There's one or two big stages left with it. And we're going to need a special tool to help us out with this. One that we can't live without. <laughs> so we got our autumn, then it's autumn, air, mana, mana. Uh-huh. Uh, this is going to allow us to make the Rod of the Shifting Crust, which allows us to replace blocks. Very handy when you're building anything. That actually takes a little bit of mana, doesn't it? Come on. We got to upgrade all this stuff, and we might even want to move this Botania stuff near our... Agricraft Island because we use it to make the Agricraft seeds. Um, okay, so or the magical crop seeds, anyways. Um, where is it? <laughs> there we go. Rod of the Shifting Crest. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so this is what the island looks like right now, guys. After blasting, it's uh, it's a little bit rough around the edges. <laughs> so one of the things I should probably do is this. Make little little touch-ups to it to polish it out a bit, make it look smoother. Because when you're when you're blasting it with explosions, um, you know it's not going to be perfect. Can't get it exactly the way you want. You might you might think, oh, I want I want to smooth this out. Then you blast it and then it, it looks worse sometimes. So yeah. Uh, so after we get this smooth smoothened out, 
That's a word, right? Yeah. <laughs> then we will use our rod of the shifting crust to change out the the stone and stuff here with dirt. So actually, I could be using dirt for this. Yeah, basically, shift right click on the dirt, and then you right click. Nice and easy, changes it all out. Hopefully, it's not going too far down. I only wanted to do the surface layer. Um, uh, I think that might be what it's doing. We don't have a lot of dirt, is the problem. <laughs> Otherwise, I would do the whole thing out of dirt. All right, and then we get our pasture seeds and start growing the grass. And luckily, over here seems to be forest hills, so the grass isn't going to look uh, bad or anything. It should be a nice green color. Okay, so just about had enough dirt to do the whole thing. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to make some more, though. Uh, you see we've got a couple stone patches in places. But uh, yeah, we, we got the grass spreading throughout the island. It's all torched up. We don't have to worry about mobs on there anymore. And we even got a 7x7 area uh, mapped out there. We're going to move uh, some of our agricraft stuff to that, that spot now. And hopefully, like, it won't look too bad. <laughs> uh, we will... Maybe move our redstone seeds first. We're not going to do like a big 7x7 seven seven patch of one type of plant. We'll probably just have like one or two plants of, of things we need. Yeah, so if we have a 7x7 seven seven area, that's 40, 49 different plants we can grow here. Uh, and we'll, we'll only grow things that we've 10 10 10 Um we're going to lose a spot for, for the water in the middle, though. <laughs> so we're going to try see how far one redstone plant and one glowstone plant will go. Uh, but there's a good chance we'll have to add more of those, because that's those are those are two things we use a lot of uh, in this. But things like, like cactus and melon definitely don't need more than one plant of these. So we'll put that down there. Um, these are all the things we've 10, 10, 10 so far, not counting... Uh, the petals for Botania, which we probably don't need to farm at all, because we got quite a few of them stored up just from 10 10 tending them. <laughs> all right, so we'll put one of each of these in. And then, uh, what do we want to do here? I'm going to put the liquid trash can underneath this. Apparently, you don't need to pipe out the, the fluid. Just put it right underneath that. Hopefully, it'll void the sludge it gets. And we'll try to keep the island looking nice if we can. And we'll run the items underground um, to the man cave part of the island, which isn't built yet. <laughs> uh, and also, we will get the fluid from underground and bring it up to our barrel here. Try to reduce as much cable stuff as we can. Keep it look looking nice, you know? Cool. So I uh, put our water reservoir just underground here, a couple blocks so it's hidden. And that pumps the water up to the barrels, to the sprinklers here. They water the crops, make them grow faster. Uh, and then what we're wanna, what we're gonna want to do here is start hollowing out the island. So <laughs> we're gonna have to put the storage somewhere, and maybe we'll put it in the islands, or we'll make a big wall of stuff. Oh, maybe we just make a big wall of stuff here. Well, I wonder how bad that would look, or how good it would look. Hmm. That's a possibility. But yeah, all the stuff we grow, we're going to want to put into storage. And before we do that, though, we're also going to want to give it a chance to go into a compactor. Because like, if, we were, if we're growing mana steel seeds, for example, they produce mana steel essence. And we don't want to just put the essence into storage. We want to compact that first. Make the 3x3 three three go into an ingot. And then put the ingot in storage. So we're going to... Give a compactor a priority of one, I think. Uh, we could probably just put that over here, even. Send a send a cable to it. All right, and give this priority of one. In and out. Yeah, in and out. Insert priority one. So it'll try go there first. If it can't, it just goes into storage. Um, and then the the block that's compacted will also. Oh, but it's gonna. Hmm. Can, these can't be compacted. Oh, they can. What? <laughs> it's like, why are they going in there? Oh, and carrots can go into carrot bags. Really? Okay. <laughs> can you can you get it out of the carrot bag? Might need to blacklist certain items too. Then. Oh yeah, you can use use. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Really, pig? Really? He just killed our ten, ten, ten melon. 
Wow. Okay, that could be a problem too. If we if animals are spawning here and they can trample our crops, might need to set up some fences and stuff. I'm noticing this isn't harvesting the crops, and I think maybe it needs a chest. Yeah, so that's getting stuff now. That's good. Okay, cool. So this should work out pretty good, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> things are going into the compactor. This has no power right now. Power is one of the things we have to work out. Should we just do solar panels? Should we run power from our main island to here? Or, or should we check out this windmill thing? I think we should check out the windmill for sure. See if that's an option. So I'm guessing it needs a lot of space. So let's just put it right here for right now. I'm guessing I placed that poorly. <laughs> no! Oh man, whenever I break something in this mod pack, it just goes flying. I don't know why, but like I've lost a few things from that. No, that's not... Maybe I'm placing it backwards. Let's try this way. Yeah, there we go. Now it's it's got that there. Can I... Oh, you just place it inside. Or not. <laughs> uh, used by wind turbine to generate electricity. Sa it says how much wind there is. Says the efficiency. Production is zero. So, okay, place it up in the air. Put the windmill inside. Now it shows it. Okay, that's good. So I guess it didn't have enough space before. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh man, that's that's a big windmill. <laughs> What's what kind of power production are we talking about here? It's in kilowatts. Oh no. I don't know what that means. Let's put this next to it so hopefully it'll charge. Uh hmm. Can we tell it to input? Might need a cable between the two things. Yeah, we need a cable. Okay, so I grabbed some cable. Hopefully we can use these cables with this mod. We cannot. <laughs> so does it only produce one type of power? We can't convert. Oops. Oh, I broke it. I looked into our quest book, guys, and I guess one of our next quests is to make the wires for this mod. So let's go ahead and do that, and maybe they will work. Uh, so we're going to need some copper wire and a bunch of plastic. Copper wire. All right. I don't know how many of these we need, but let's make a bunch of them. Go back in. There we go. Okay, and high voltage. Okay. So I'm guessing that windmill is not high voltage, though. So let's grab whatever cables we made. We have low voltage and we have high. Sure. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll make some regular copper wire. I don't know if he can use that, but we'll have three different things to try here anyways. Let's, let's head over to the windmill again. It does look cool. Like, I would love to use this thing. Oh, I messed up. Where's that going to land? Maybe I didn't throw an extra one. I thought I did. Okay, let's head back up here. And what we're going to do is run the cable from this. Let's see. This will attach. It does attach. That's good. I don't know if it's going to convert the power, though. No. Hmm. Because these can convert industrial craft power to RF. Maybe it'll work with this too. Birds on a wire. Mm, oh, it's got some power in. Zero. This says 256. This says zero. Uh, no, not working. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll see what you guys say about it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Uh, right now, it's this isn't going to be too useful for us till we can get power out of it. Maybe we'll look into getting some more seeds here, things we actually want to grow uh, and get tons of awesome resources out of. <laughs> so one of our quests in the book, let's go back to Beta Land. Uh, we need the the five different types of essence here, and we set up this this crafting system to do that for us. Is it not? Oh, this actually ran out of Missio. Really? Okay, well, we'll steal some of this and some of that, and there's only two in there. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, I underestimated just how much Missio it takes to, to make this stuff. Uh, we got the two hard ones. I guess we will have to move our other barrel over here. Okay, then we pop this other one over. This is the rest of our Minisio. We got 19,000 in there. That should make uh, 
the yellow and the orange. That's what we need. The orange one takes four green. Yellow takes 16. Blue is 64. Purple is 256. And the red is 1,024 Minicio. <laughs> Each one. That is crazy. We can't do this one until we get the Master Stone, though. So we got the four colors. Let's go ahead and... Whoa. Uh oh. The machine can't make it. We have to craft it for it to count. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're not doing that quest right now. That's not, that's not hard to do. But, uh, did not plan for that. Okay, so we're going to want to get our seeds. One of the things we want for sure here, first one I'm going to do is energetic alloy, because I use so much of this stuff. We want to start farming it. So I think we just need four blocks. And you see we got electrical steel, dark steel, all sorts of different things here. We head over to our Botania land. Um, I've just been using ender pearls today. <laughs> it's faster. Uh, and then we make a bunch of the the seeds. So any any of these seeds should work, right? No, it has to be wheat seeds. Okay, that turns into Minicio seeds. Takes a ton of mana to do that, though. And then let's say we want to make energetic alloy, for example. Energetic alloy seeds are one Minicio seed, four of the blocks, and four essence. How much uh, mana is it going to take to do this, I wonder? We will find out. Might be really pricey. Like, how fast is that circle going to fill up? Yeah, that's that's the slowest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's going to take quite a bit. It needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them. Uh, most of these just require the, the Imperial Essence, so they're not super pricey either. Let's throw these on until it stops. Oh, we got it. <laughs> cool. Uh, these are going to be useful for making solar panels later. And a lot of things require this blue ingot thing as well. So it's a good thing to get. Alright, awesome. So we got s some very useful seeds there. Before we start using them in our farmland, though, we want to 10-10-10 them. So these are these are upgrading right now. Uh, I was wondering, there is a thing in here for north, northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest. Maybe we can tell it to only plant those over there, and maybe we can 10-10-10 something else, like like electrical steel at the same time, even though they use the same type of soil. How would we do that? <laughs> let's grab... Oh, there's nothing in there yet. Here, let's steal this. Uh, which direction is this, actually? This is west and north. Northwest. So if we tell this to only put that here, maybe it won't plant it here, then? Would be the dream? We'll try that out. Okay, and then... Uh, let's plant down our electrical steel. Now, magical crops, they don't grow the same as agricraft crops either, though. Like, you can't bone meal them. Oh, did it kill it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's an expensive seed. What did you do with it? No, it's still planting energetic alloy here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we might just have to wait. Do one, Do them one by one. And then we can grow other stuff on Podzol or another type of dirt. Well, anyways, guys, I think it is about time to wrap up the episode here for today. But uh, we got an island built. Very happy about that. And things will start getting way more organized and hopefully not look so poopy brown <laughs> or unfinished. Because we'll want to do the same over here, too, and, and start polishing up this once we get that sorted out over there. But, yeah, it's a good start. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching as always, and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.